this computer. Hi, my name is Steven Yoff. I'm going to present my work entitled Assessing Environmental Status of Nor'eastern Iberian Beach Forest Using Lichen Diversity. Um, beach forests are typical in temperate climates in Europe, as you can see in this slide, and they reach up to the northern area of the Iberian Peninsula. They are not restricted to this northern uh, uh, range, but also they can uh, be located a bit farther in the center, which really means the southwestern, uh, the most southwestern uh, point, at least in the distribution in Europe. This, um, uh, this community in the northeastern part of the Iberian Peninsula is really uh, restricted to main two patches. One really located in the temperate climate, which is uh, we can see here on the western area of the of the of the map. But the most uh, usual, most abundant uh, patches are located in this area here, which is the the range or the border between the temperate climate and the Mediterranean ones, meaning that this here we, they are those uh, beach forests are affected by a Mediterranean climate with the consequences of uh, higher temperatures, lower humidity, which are being uh, affected by the global change, meaning that the conditions are quite more severe than has been uh, standing um, up to now. Uh, the points uh, have been studied uh, are in three main areas, as we can see here, where the number of uh, sites have been 21, 19, and 10, as, uh, respectively. And those areas are uh, characterized by a north-facing, uh, sorry, a north-facing uh, orientation, as you can see on the here down on the on the left. Uh, most of the points are uh, in the mountain areas. The lowest points or the lowest site uh, are uh, about uh, 500 meters high, so it's really not really low areas as we can find usually on the temper and the, on the European uh, distribution of the communities. And another point has, has to be highlighted about this kind of forest. They, uh, they occupy uh, really steep areas uh, on the distribution here in the northeastern Iberian Peninsula. You can see. Uh, most of the points are about 20 degrees uh, on a slope, which is really steep, uh, reaching about 50 degrees. That means a really steep area, difficult to work, and the characteristics of the soil are, not, uh, are really different, but it has been expected on the, in another areas where the, the beach forest uh, used to grow. Another characteristic of the sites we have analyzed has been the land use of these areas to assess this kind of land use we have made a buffer about 500 meters around the point as you can see here this is the point of the the site which mean about uh, 100 uh, square meters surface and uh, within this buffer we have calculated the area occupied by any kind of vegetation based on the information available on the cartography of the of the habitats uh, of the catalonia which can be uh, assessed in this point. And with that information, we have made a first ordination of the points based on land use. And we can see of uh, how the points are mm, really uh, distributed, not really separating between the points, meaning that all the counties, all the areas have been studied really share the same kind of uh, land uses in a general sense, but we can try to see if the, this kind of land use is really an, uh, an effect on the communities. Like in diversity has been evaluated using the LDB protocol established by ASTA and Club 2002 and Stoffer in 2012, who has been compiled in the European normative and uh, published in 2014. Uh, apart from the lichen diversity, we, we have also uh, classified the species into the ecological functional groups based in these those authors, and this information has been included in order to, to evaluate and to see the differences uh, if there is uh, differences uh, between the sites based on on this kind of uh, ecological uh, groups. Um, the site has been classified based into criteria. The main criteria, uh, one of the criteria, is the one defined by Isogron and collaborator 2007, based in LDB, which is defined as a naturality criteria, uh, where all the sites are placed in a, in a classes based on the uh, on the number of the of the LDB. 
Otherwise, we have also defined a new disturbances uh, criterion well, based on the uh, abundance of uh, eutrophic lichens in its site, meaning that eutrophic lichens can reflect the disturbances uh, which are affecting those communities. And in this case, it's not three, but we have defined it into four crises, and we will see on the, on the organizations. Uh, when we have made the ordination of the sites in order to uh, base it on the composition of the communities, not in terms of a species, but in terms of the abundance of, um, uh, of functional groups, uh, we can see that there is not really a clear pattern where we can distinguish between several groups. Uh, all the sites clustered together, meaning that most of the areas really share the same kind of composition, meaning they're uh, under the same effect of disturbance of the characteristics that means that communities in this sense. However, when we uh, make the, the characterization of the site, depending of the of the criteria, main naturality or disturbances, we can see in this slide on your right and your left, uh, naturality doesn't make a big difference between the points. Otherwise, uh, based on disturbances, we can see how some kind of points tends to uh, cluster together on your left on your right side of the of the of the MDS, and you can see how uh, the other points are not really defined into the less disturbed or the more disturbed. So we can see now the highest disturbance, it's really gathering together several points, but the other points are really not well differentiated between them. A similar uh, situation we can see uh, if you apply land use or the county, meaning the the characteristics of the sites when the, the this beach forests are growing or depending on the area we have been sampling. Uh, again, uh, the land use doesn't make any big differences in terms of the, um, the effects on the communities, but uh, the counties, since that the area when they have been uh, the location of the, of the beach forest makes some kind of difference in terms of the uh, the situation we can see uh, these triangles. What means the the situation the the MTS, which is the southern and highest area we have been studying. So what is really uh, the differences? We, um, based on the LDV, as we can see here, which is the real factor what make the differences? And surprisingly, disturbance is making quite a difference because higher disturbance means higher diversity, which is really the opposite as they has been defined by these acronym colleagues when they make this criteria, meaning that uh, what's going wrong with using uh, naturality in this sense. But when we use the, the, the trophic uh, abundance, as we can see here, we can see the same again, as, uh, meaning that uh, the highest LDV values, also meaning the high naturality is really related with uh, communities with a higher abundance or frequency of a species with eutrophic uh, characters, meaning uh, are quite tolerant to disturbances. That means that the, the real effect, what is the, the consequence or, or what is the factor that's really making the differences, it's not really the not exactly the land use, as we can see in again in this in this uh, ordination, it's based on land use, but we have uh, overlaid what is the functional traits, what's more uh, significant uh, for them. And the ones were the eutrophic and the oligotrophic, meaning that the opposite sides. And you can see uh, how this uh, increase in the abundance of eutrophic uh, uh, lichens are more uh, linked to those places located in the highest and southern uh, situation, what is the NTS area. Again, uh, this is more easy to see, or not, depends, uh, about the, the fact that uh, they are more in the, in the, with this green area, which mainly means the cluster of these species. So, um, for us, it was a bit tricky to see that, that, that difference. So with, this is of something else was really making that difference. So we went into one of the factors which was not really significant in the terms of uh, the ordination, but uh, we see that the, really the age the, of, the, of the communities uh, are really determining this kind of differences. So uh, the older communities or the, the beaches were have been more time in the terms of stability are the ones that hold less eutrophic species but not doesn't reflect in terms of the higher abundance of oligotrophic. That means that we are in a point where the communities are evolving from the, some kind of disturbances, as we can see here. So in uh, these last uh, 60 years, uh, so, uh, 70 years, sorry, uh, uh, you, we can see that uh, 
the, the, the higher the mountains have been evolving, so high reforesting in a, in a higher extent. But all these areas are quite new, meaning that the trees are younger. But in some areas, that the one in the MTS, which is really the highest in the southern, the consequences of the management and the effect of the agriculture has been more extreme, meaning that some of the patches has not been able to recolonize again all the communities. So meaning that the, the level of the eutrophic species are higher than we expected, as we can see here in this graph where we can see the ages and when you can compare seeing that these ones with all the the, the olders is what uh, holds less eutrophic species meaning that has been recuperating from this disturbances effect being uh, on the past but the, the other ones are still evolving from these in disturbances but still being keeping by the effect of the agriculture and so on so just to take home uh I can summarize this talk so we have a community is based on a, a main or a more moderated situation of being a uh, mesotrophic mesogriffitic and eutrophic species uh but the consequences perturbations has many disturbances increasing those species or the abundance of those species are really more, uh, more tolerant to eutrophication to xerophily so I mean they can uh, stand on the effect of disturbances basically and the consequences of global change has been used uh, adding to this effect in terms of uh, increasing the stress on those communities so uh, Applying the criteria should be um, careful because the totality doesn't reflect the reality. So we have to find another ways to really uh, analyze these consequences on terms of the changes of communities based on the consequences of the environmental situation of those communities a long time. So just to knowledge, the foundations has been funding the study as well your attention to my talk. So that's all.